let's learn how to cut carrot sticks two different ways. For our first method, you're going to need a sharp chef's knife, a cutting board, a vegetable peeler, and of course, some carrots. Go ahead and start by just peeling your carrot. Most people don't like to eat carrots with the peel on, so when we're making carrot sticks for snacks, you probably are going to want to peel it. Once you're done with that, set your carrot down on the board and chop off both ends so we have a nice finished carrot to work with. Set those aside and next we're going to cut this carrot squarely in half. So set one of the halves aside once you're done because we're going to work with one at a time. For the smaller half, go ahead and cut it in half again. Use your knuckles as a guide. Then lay the flat side down and we're going to cut it again in half and there we have some carrot sticks from the small end. Again, lay it down with the flat side and cut in half. So there's some carrot sticks from the small end of the carrot, but the big end we may want to do differently. So once again, use your knuckles as a guide, steady the carrot and chop it in half. You just want to rock your knife down and into the carrot. Then put those flat sides down and with the bigger end I like to cut them into three different pieces rather than just two so that the pieces end up a little bit more even. Here's my second piece. Again I'm just cutting it into three and if any of those pieces look like they turned out a little too big you can always cut them in half one more time to get your even carrot sticks. And there you have some carrot sticks that are great for snacking for the kids to snack on. You can save them for later, put them in snack packs, or even blanch them and freeze them if you really want to get ahead. Next up, we're going to learn how to do a julienne cut, which is a thinner type of carrot stick, also known as a matchstick. You're going to start in the same way by chopping off both ends of your carrot and then cutting it this time into three different sections. Each section should be about two inches in length. So depending on the length of your carrot, it could vary a little bit, but usually you cut it into three sections. Take one of the sections, and this is where we're gonna start the julienning process. First, we need to square off the carrot. So stand the carrot up and slice down to make a flat edge. Then lay it down on the cutting board and square off all of the other three edges. Cut just down one side, carefully using your knuckles as a guide. Then rotate the carrot, cut off the other side, and flip the carrot over to square off the very last side. A square carrot is key to getting an even julienne or matchstick of carrots. So here's my squared off carrot all finished. Now I'm going to lay it down and cut some planks. You can do these whatever width you'd like, but usually a julienne is pretty thin. Just keep in mind whatever width you do, the planks is also the width we're going to cut them into strips in just a moment. So here I have some planks that are all done. I have three laid out and now I can cut my julienne. So make sure you do the same width here and just cut them into strips. And there you'll have some really nice, even, beautiful julienne carrots that you can use in a variety of different recipes. You can snack on these as well, or you can use them in stir fries, in salads and things like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit that like button and check out some of these other related videos I'll have on the left hand side for you. Thanks for watching!